Hi, this is Adam with Small Town Machine Shop. A quick little video. Um, sorry, the video's been slow this week. It got hot this week, as I'm, it is for most of you, I'm sure. So I have been absolutely rammed. So, haven't had much time to do stuff in the shop. Um, did get a pleasant surprise today. As you know, I got this uh, Colchester Model 100, I believe, lathe for 100 bucks from a guy. But it was missing the uh, spindle drive gear. We called him yesterday, and he found it. So I'm going to clean this up real quick, put it on there. And then I'm going to talk to you about my plans for this lathe. So let me set you up, and we'll knock this out real quick. Okay, let's get this gear cleaned up real quick. Put a little bit of brake cleaner on there. Scotch bright pad. This is what it looks like. Uh, he said it was really hard to get off there. And it shows. He may have used some methods that uh, I wouldn't have. <laughs> nice and quick. Real gently, I like to take a piece of memory paper, crocus cloth, whatever. Through the middle. Make sure it's all shiny, shiny. Especially where that keyway is. Fold this in half. So I hope you guys who are working out in the heat, like I am, are doing your best to stay hydrated and stay safe. Remember, uh, protect yourself out there in the heat. Don't overdo it. Now I'm going to take a wire brush. Clean it pretty good. This gear has some wear on it. I can see like it wasn't almost like it wasn't aligned right. I would say it almost looked like a lead in. You know, changing gears while it's running. But this gear shouldn't move. So the band sometimes on these the banjo <laughs> bolt will come loose. He's got a little, little nicks and dings there. I'll get in there with a smaller brush. Yeah, I will get it over to the lathe. Okay, so I cleaned up the gear. And I forgot to film this part because I got carried away. So yeah, the gear's on there now. And everything's feeding. It slid right on. So not much to see there. These screws turn in. Now, I'm messing with the motor right now. This lathe is 100% functional and good to go. Now, I only have 100 bucks in this lathe. And I actually kind of like it. Well, I like all lathes. But, I'd like to find someone I can give this to. These, this size machine doesn't show up in my area very often, especially with uh, the factory cast legs. You know, I can put this thing on Craigslist tonight for... Eight, nine hundred bucks, and someone would come buy it tonight. But I don't want to do that. I'd like to, I need to think about it. I'd like to find a way I could give this to someone who would actually use it and appreciate it. You know, uh, I've been, I guess I've been, uh, I don't know the word, but I gave one away to someone like five years ago. It was a Logan or Atlas TH. 54, I believe, and so they always wanted one, you know, couldn't wait to have one, so I, I gave it for, like, super cheap, and then, like, three days later, it's on Craigslist for, like, four times what I sold it to them for, so I'd, I'd like to not have that happen again. We'll see. For now, it's just going to hang out in the shop and be messed with, but I'd really like to try to find someone, you know, just starting out who would really love to have this machine and could really, you know, 
would really use it and, you know, put it to use. Not just collect it to have more of them. And you guys know what I mean. So, I'll think about that. But yeah. The $100, I think it's a Model 100 lathe is up and going. So I got some stuff coming this week. Hopefully I'll film it. Depends how much busy I've been out in the field. I've just I've just been slammed. So yeah, I'll film them as I can. This is that. I'm a small town machine shop. Please comment, like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.